What is going on guys welcome back to another video i hope you're having an amazing day and in today's video we're going to taking a look at something really special so this is samsung auto also known as samsung auto plus dex in china and if you don't already know google services are not available in china so pretty much all the phone manufacturers do have their own alternative version of android auto which gets beamed over bedu plus car life or some another service but this isn't running on my tablet this is a very old tablet running on one ui 4 this is actually beaming from a one ui 7 device which I'll tell you later on how to do that, but big ups to Galaxy Techie on Twitter to actually find a way out to just get it working without a car head unit and just providing the APK. So I'll just leave all the credits in the description, but this is how it looks. The UI is a bit messed up because it's not meant for a device like this, but you have your basic navbar, your apps, more apps, then again your last use apps just right there. You have Spotify or any kind of music player, you have clock and weather, which doesn't actually work. Even though I have the best weather app installed, it's not your normal one year weather because of the Chinese services. But if you just take a look at right over here, you have the normal A map. Again, the animations are a bit better than Android Auto. Whenever they do work, it has a cruise mode and everything, which is nice. You can quickly switch between apps right there or just go to the home screen. It glitches out a bit, but you can quickly switch between your normal apps and the home just like that. So if you go to the app management, you can basically add more apps over here like phone mirroring, a map, best weather, scrolling down. There are a lot more downloadables, which will be handy if you are in China. Then again, scrolling down even more apps, which are in free trial use, not optimized for Samsung Auto yet, but they are still there. And the great part is if you have a massive screen in your car, something like uh, MG Windsor Cloud EV, it almost has a laptop like screen, like 15.6 inches. You can actually mirror your phone directly again it has its mind of its own yep you can completely control your phone get some work done right over here whole phone is accessible along with the camera so you can even do video calls facetime everything or if you don't want to mirror a laggy phone right over there you can always go here and have access to all of your apps so i can directly go to my messages use the whole messaging app right over here and it scales to the screen of your car which is again amazing so if I just go here, go to settings, these are the settings for Samsung Auto. So if I just go to the sound, something in Chinese, play audio through Bluetooth, which is normal, navigation volume, media volume, just like Android Auto, but it's not dependent on your phone. You can actually customize it separately, which is great. Bixby uses car microphone, which is again a great feature. So you don't have to yell at your phone whenever you want to trigger it. Then again, card management is basically your widget manager nearby services like the gas station parking lot which is nice you have some more china services right over there again something that you don't get to see in android auto then going back display you basically have dark mode and auto switch nothing much you even have wallpapers which are nice if i just switch it go to app screen no maybe home we get to see that beautiful wallpaper let's just go back again Scrolling down music, again something in Chinese, autoplay music when you connect to the car, which is great. And then you have cruise mode, which is a A-map feature. Basically, once you start driving above 30 km, it enters the map mode, which is again nice. I wish Android Auto had that. And then that's basically it for Samsung Auto. Let's just check how you can get it working on your One US 7 device or you can basically install this receiver APK on your car and use the Samsung Auto on your car, which is a much preferred experience, but let's just check that out. So let's just set up the Samsung Auto on the mirroring phone. First of all, you will need obviously One UI 7 as the APK crashes on One UI 8. Also don't have a necessary feature in developer options. So just go to about device, enable developer options. Once you do that, go to it, scroll to the bottom and then you will find force desktop port which isn't available on the one ui8 once you enable this restart your phone once you restart the phone let's just go to file manager where you have downloaded apks so let's just install the one ui7 version of samsung auto once that is done also install the component plugin which is basically the car plus life app this will help us connect with the receiving end once you have installed both of the apks Make sure you have turned off everything, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Hotspot, GPS, otherwise it just messes up a bit. So once you do that, you won't see the Samsung Auto on your app screen. For that, just go to the settings app, go to connected devices, 
scrolling down you will see samsung auto once you enter just agree all the permissions and it will be a lot because it has the complete access to your phone as you can see it's basically everything and once you enter the samsung auto app this is how it looks you can even add it to the home screen for easier usage use samsung auto while the phone is locked which is quite necessary i know it and then in app management you can add more stuff i don't know why it's not loading right now but if you want to use the phone mirroring and stuff you have to add it through over here quick navigation is basically continue the navigation on phone to car car to phone location based navigation which are basic stuff i don't know why there are complete settings for it but go to connect to car we have installed bedu car life plus so we'll just go to it and choose this third option wireless hotspot connection other ones just don't work at all and first of all you will need to connect your device to the receiver via bluetooth so just go to it we'll select my galaxy tab s5 e but if your receiving phone is connected to the wi-fi it won't work so if i just tap over here if my wi-fi is connected it should just fail like this so keep it aside on the receiving device first of all just disconnect your wi-fi then tap the bluetooth again to enable bluetooth tethering as you can see i've already given the permission that's why it just connected like that then you have to enable the hotspot so go to a hotspot enable it again as you can see it's a bit messed up and using a 2.4 gigahertz connection is very recommended 5 gigahertz one will obviously cause less lags but it's very unstable especially for older phones like this if you're running a port so do use a 2.4 gigahertz band set a password on it it helped me so once you do that just go back set the phone aside a bit let's just go to the receiver connect it to the phone's wi-fi once the connection is successful just install the receiver apk so that should be right over here car life plus not the component plugin the receiver once you do that open it give it its permissions it will give you a basic setup just wait for a second maybe open the app again until you find help in which you have to select android phone connection via wi-fi this is quite necessary and once you do this you have to just go to your samsung auto app and initiate a connection so samsung auto cancel this connect to the car car life plus wireless hotspot start a connection again it will ask for more permissions for the receiver As you can see now it's finally been connected sometimes it will give a samsung plus dex notification but yeah you have to just work with it a bit as you can see once it goes gray and exits that means it's running just set it aside get to your receiver open the app don't stay inside the app just open it after a bit and there you go you have the samsung auto completely working i don't know why my brightness has broken but yeah that's how you get samsung auto running on your car's head unit or any kind of another android device i hope you guys like it if you found this helpful please share this video with your fellow samsung users and do let me in the comment section below if you want to know more things like this see you guys in the next one